Hello everybody and welcome back. This time we're going to be playing with inputs a little bit more. Um, I went ahead and pulled up the Indian MDN docs on input and you'll notice there's a bunch of types that we didn't get to. There's a ton of types. The vast majority of these you will never ever use. You're just not going to use them, but they're there if you need them. So just keep that in mind. As always, there's MDN docs are a wonderful resource. So last time we just created a couple of inputs and played around with the submit button. It didn't really do much of anything. This time we're gonna do a little bit more with the inputs, but we're gonna make a simple login form. So let's have this input type equals text, and then when attribute we can use, and you'll notice that Adam already pulls up a bunch of attributes. There's a ton of attributes. So just keep that in mind. That's not even all of them, there's more. But placeholder, this is one you'll use a lot. And this is just kind of populates it with text before they start typing, so um, username. And then for this next one, the type might be password because we don't want other people to see our password. So now we've got a little bit of syntax, a little bit of meaning to our form. Because earlier it was just empty text fields. So username could be Josh Bastine. Password could be password with a cap with a one, whatever. And then I hit submit. And the form submits and the page refreshes, but obviously we're not doing anything with the form on the back end, so nothing happens. A cool part about the password field is that if you refresh the page or go back to the page, it does not automatically fill in the data, while this one, while all the other text fields do. And there's one more input I wanted to show you, not really because it's all that super useful, but it's just kind of fun, is the color input. So now I've got three things, your username, password, and your favorite color. And if you click on that, you get a little color pop-up. So... So I got all these different colors I could pick. So let's do, I like this color, green, cool. So now I'm submitting this color. And when that submits, that'll submit the hex value of that color. So I type in my username and my password, hit submit, and it works and then the, it resets. So that's how you can make a very, very simple login form. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help, thanks.